Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode. I hope you're doing well. And yeah, I've changed a couple of things since last video. So I've changed my build. I'm now doing a heavy strike build on my main account. So I'll go through those details, uh, what equipment I've changed, just in case you're following along with what I'm doing. So on my main, I have increased to 102, 105. So I'm trying to basically push as much as I can, but it's still slow at this stage. Really, I need to be doing like five to 10 runs a day. But uh, it's, it's extremely hard, you know, with work, family, life. So I'm trying to go, I'm trying to get stages in, but it is a slow push. So my current new build is this. So it's heavily strike um, with, uh, I've got ferry as my main gold source income. So that's why I've got Chesterton and uh, ferry gold as, as leveled there. But I'll leave that for a moment so you can pause it and take it in if you do wish to follow then on my equipment side if you want to know what equipment i'm doing so on may one i've got critical damage uh then i've got a helmet i've got sword attack damage uh, i may swap it to a, a different ranged spell or melee depending on what is the strongest hero if i'm near the max stage and trying to push a bit more so i might swap that then i've got chesterton or chester <laughs> chesterson sorry chesterson then i've got slash primary boost and then heavily uh strike damage as my last one right so i'm going to answer some questions from the last episode thank you so much for leaving comments and questions because there's a lot i also might answer some from um other videos because there's some really good ones that you guys commented on uh, the other tap titans videos but before i do that a quick shout out to my clan um that i've joined band clan mates they're really really pushing hard at the moment so at the moment they're uh, top 30 clan in the world and i believe we just cleared uh, stage 341 or 42 i think it's 41 but um yeah like there's not many clans as as cleared that uh it's definitely like top i think it was like 40 or 50 clans in the world have only cleared that so it's um yeah we're getting higher higher in the leaderboard and they're doing really well um i don't think we've even like failed one raid yet so Good luck, guys. Good luck. Well done. And here's a word from our sponsor. Hi, everyone. First, I'd like to thank Huawei App Gallery for, for sponsoring today's video. And I've got some exciting news today. They have already lowered the price of the in-app purchases even lower. So you can get down for 40 euro just for the ferry skip. Or instead of 100, it's down to 80 if you want to be VIP. And for season pass, which is normally 10 euro, it's down to only eight. So I've got some exciting news. To make it even better, we've got some coupons currently out now that you can use for free, which makes even cheaper purchases. If you haven't installed App Gallery already, I've got a link to it in the description below. We told you all the process how to install it. But if you have already installed and you want to take advantage of this amazing offer, Click on your app gallery, and if you go down to either Hot Offers, there's the Tap Titan 2 campaign. If you click on that, it will show you the offers we've got on. So we've got two coupons. You've got two coupons for the season pass, which reduces it from eight down to six, or eight for the ferry video, which reduces down to 32. So instead of 50 to get ferry skippable ads forever, it's only now 32 euro, which is pretty pretty amazing so to claim it all you do is click on the buttons so you press ok for the terms and conditions you can press claim i have read terms and conditions continue so once they're claimed they will automatically be added to your checkout and you can also see them if you go to your me at the bottom right you can go to coupons and there they are they're in there so you can press use and it direct you in game to use them or you can do it in game via when you go to checkout and select which one you want to do when you're here make sure that your region or country is selected to a nordic country i selected finland it's worked absolutely fine to do that you can go down to settings go to country region click on that and at the bottom you can change country or region so it's this section here you can change it to finland if you haven't already i'm just going to quickly click on use which will bring you in game. So when I go to season pass and I go to unlock 
and I used the eight. It auto automatically added in discounts. As you can see, it's deducted the two. Got my payment information. Um, paid it just to six euros. Uh, payment complete, and that's only cost me six euros instead of ten. And if you go to the season pass, boom, there you go. Season pass activated. Saved myself four euro. I'm happy. So it's easy as that. So you've got two coupons to use for this event, which is great. Got any questions, you can join a Discord server. I'll put a link to it below. And we've got the channel, which is called App Gallery Support and also App Gallery Promotions. So check those two out because any new promotions that come in the future for new coupons, discounts that are free will be dropped in there. So make sure you're following there. And uh, yeah, update us on your feedback. Path Matt, thanks to Huawei App Gallery for sponsoring the video. And I'll see you guys soon. So a couple of questions from last episode. You've asked, got one from, okay. Ben Gill says, I have to ask, sometimes I see at the start of your runs, you can't push at all. And the seems to be, uh, seems to be forever on literally one HP. Why did that happen? Just curious. Um, so sometimes in the videos, if I'm talking or if you see me on stream, uh, the basic uh, Titan bar goes down. Like for example, here it's stuck at low health and it just stays there forever. Now that's because um, the last build I used on my videos would have been Shadow Clone and that Shadow Clone build would have used um, Lightning Strike. So Lightning Strike would have basically reduces the Titan's health to a certain point and then the Shadow Clone splash damage or splash damage would kill it and then it goes to the next area. Exactly the same with Heavenly Strike. Uh, on Heavenly Strike you normally have loads of skills that reduce the titan lord's health again the heavenly strike yeah um lightning strike there we go so i'll bring the lightning strike up so lightning strike reduces titan's health straight away that's where you see all the lightning and it reduces it significantly but then that's why you can see the bar goes straight down from the top there but then you use the uh, shadow clone splash or heavenly strike splash to finish it off and splash through those stages. So you normally see a lot of videos, the bar goes down quickly, quick, quickly, but then it stays there until the splash takes over. So that's why it's basically lightning strikes doing that. Very thinned in, it says, I'm currently stuck at stage uh, four point, between four and five K, trying to grind relics and get Ambiris up to 50, uh, maybe 8% with clan ship. Uh, pet heart with das. at least i should at the moment i want to push straight 10k if possible and i want to switch my build which one do you think i should choose or should i just keep um saving and getting bearers to percentage said above um i'll stick with your build um between four or five k is still low still early days um the only thing i recommend about changing build and i'll say this all the time change it to change build on your play style um, not because you think it will push you levels because it don't if you're very optimized very well and you know you've optimized your relics and your equipment and everything there's normally not that much of a difference between um, builds so you're looking at like a few couple hundred stages swap and build is not going to give you an extra 5,000 stages or 10,000 stages it's not like that one build doesn't give you a significant difference than the other it's all about play style like clan ship build is a beginner's build because it's semi-active and the fact that when you first start playing you're um unlocking your heroes and you're un unlocking warlord that's why you clan ship build tends to start with that one because for other builds like uh, heavenly strike or shadow clone they need a lot of passive damage so a lot of passive skills and splash skills which only unlock when you've got more skill points so you don't normally do shadow clone and heavenly strike to run about a thousand skill points because you need that passive splash for those builds to be any decent while shadow clone relies on hero damage which you get early on in the game to get the beginning of the game so that's why um, clan ship builds are used at the beginning but when you are ready when you have got enough skill points then it's all down to your play style, not what, you know, not giving you an extra loads of stages because it doesn't. So if you're semi-active and you want a strong, reliable build that pushes, that has good push, good farm, that's in the middle, that's, you know, just going to keep getting you first place in tournaments, keep pushing you on a regular basis, stick with clanship. There's a lot of end game players that still play clanship build. And it's very strong and reliable and it basically it does its job it does the best of both worlds if you are very competitive and you want to grind even a little bit more stages uh, and you want you play like four hours a day every day and you grind like a machine then do heavenly strike heavy strike has got a bit more uh, power to it so you probably gain an extra 50 or 100 stages each time it, it does grind a lot more but is a lot more active. You have to constantly 
be playing and clicking that heavy strike button so you, you can't take your eye off the ball you have to constantly play so if you're a very active player heavy strike if you're a busy person you've got school uni work and you can only play like once or twice a day or you can play but you, you can't look at your phone as much then choose shadow clone because it plays itself it's this, it's a very like lazy sort of no i say lazy it's a very chill build because you just activate all your skills and then you just check it every five to ten minutes to reactivate your skills so it's very chill you can have it on your side and just check it every 10 minutes to make sure you know if it's ready to prestige or not so shadow clone if it's a chill build but it doesn't push as much it's more of a farm and build <clears throat> it probably take more time to level but that's the benefit of shadow clone is that, that if you haven't got the time to play at least you can still play in the background so at least you're still getting somewhere heavy strike if you're really active and you want to push 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 and clan so clan ship is a bit in the middle it's the best of both worlds it's good for farming it's good for pushing but you know it's semi-active so you don't have to always be on the game so it is all down to your play style change as i said before changing your build is not changing to a build from clan ship build is not going to give you the edge it's not going to make a massive difference in gameplay it's not going to give you an extra five ten thousand stages so choose based on your play style not based on thinking you get more stages it doesn't work like that so i uh, hope that's helped for my my personal opinion at, because you are only at four to five k chances are you won't have enough skill points or uh, splash damage passes damage available so i would stick with clan ship but when you are ready and you do decide to change change based on your lifestyle okay uh, alan toy says do you use adrenaline rush uh, and or doom during non-tournament days or for fast farming or just use them for tournament i tend to just use all my perks during tournament but that's out of habit uh, i've when you start getting late game you start like f um stockpiling a lot of perks so at the moment i've got like what like 35 28 67 155 manners and 90 dooms so when you get late game you take you tend to stockpile a lot of them because you just don't use them as much um it's just out of laziness uh, a lot of late game players do that is because you normally just only activate your perks when you're pushing which is normally in tournament um sometimes late game you push in and out tournament if, if you've been you know super lazy uh or if you're if you're getting first if you've got a solo tournament it doesn't really matter you can push outside after that tournament anyway um but it's all it all depends it all depends so it, sometimes if i remember i might use it outside but again as i said i, I normally just push in tournaments so i only use it in tournament uh, if you're low level and you haven't got that many perks uh, you know because when you first start to play the game the, uh, these are quite rare you don't get them as often i would only use them in tournament but when you get to you know you played for a few months and you get to the point you stop pulling them this much then yeah definitely use them in and outside because it makes it easier uh, but again just say make sure you just don't push too much outside of tournament or just before it's all right to push like just after tournament if you want to gain gain if a bit more stages or if you just want to farm it just happens anyway but if you did a big push just before a tournament you kind of shoot yourself in a foot yeah because it's gonna make it harder to push even more during that tournament so long as you don't um go crazy and push just before tournament that should be fine uh see so r3 udi um w3b3r which i think it's ruby weber says uh, i've got a huge problem with my current build i'm using clan ship pet armor das i've got 1.7 skill points but i want to switch to heavenly strike the calculator tells me um mana rip any advice um how to push for mana regen can't do can't do more than buy fluff, fluffers every time i can try and keep it up so watching the whole series with pleasure uh, thank you very much thanks for following um with mana um regen there's other things you can do to help with that at 1.7k you probably haven't got all artifacts yet so there's three or four things that can help with uh, mana first you said fluffers that's one of them so you can keep whenever fluffers get in the shop um appears in the shop buy fluffers because you get a uh, passive um fluffers mana regen so you can keep getting that so for example at mine fluffers alone is 107.4 mana regens just because i've been collecting them so long and just you know out of the 185 mana regens 100 of that is fluffers so if you ever get uh fluffers in shop make sure you always buy it it does make a huge difference uh secondly is artifacts there's loads of artifacts um that uh, quality of life ones are basically these ones that are the capped ones i don't know why i did 
um, quote quotation marks for that. But but the cap ones, uh, let's have a look. Uh, right, so you've got uh, Mystic Staff, which gives you mana regeneration. You've got Mystical Beans of Senzu, Senzu, which gives you mana refund percentage. And then you get Ambrosia Alexa, which gives you plus 80 mana capacity. So if you haven't got those three artifacts, I would farm a bit more artifacts and get them max because that would help as well. You've also got artifacts that um, reduce the uh, cost. So your or all these ones, In In Infinity, Glove, Titan, Oak, all these reduce the cost of the skills, which you will need as well because you want to activate those skills. Uh, second thing to look at is equipment sets. There's a lot of equipment sets that would help you dramatically. So you get the Black Knight. That's increases the base splash damage so that would help with the heavy strike build if you want to uh, obviously get that splash damage so black knight will help as well uh, also you got defiant uh, spell slinger that gives you a percentage of mana refund percent so uh, mine's 11.59 but the higher crafting power increases your equipment power so it might be a different uh, percentage when you first get it but when you inc increase your crafting power more that gets higher and higher so you can get defiant spell slinger spell slinger to help with your uh, mana re refund percent so you've got dragon slayer which increases your mana capacity and then for the mythic set which you definitely should get would be the angelic guardian mythic set so angelic guardian mythic set is the go-to first one you should get for your heavenly strike build because it increases your heavy strike damage and also the bass uh, the base max splash count so those four uh, so get the angelic guardian first and then the three legendary sets that i mentioned as a minimum and that would overall help not with not only with your heavy strike build because of the base splash damage which you definitely need uh, but also the mana refund refund um, percentage and as i mentioned before your artifacts will help with that and getting more fluffers uh, so those all those three areas i would recommend to look at that would help with the problem with your mana rip uh, also, you can put, um, I know it might not stay in the build, but you can put also a lot of more skill points into your ma uh, mana siphon. So if you go to your skill tree, go to saucer, and this one here, so your mana siphon, if you upgrade that to max, uh, that will help out the problem as well. But you do lose skill points from the build to do so. But if you, you know, if you use the heavenly strike build and you run out of mana halfway through the run, that's anything you can do to fix the problem. So I hope that has helped, buddy. And if none of that works after getting all that equipment, then you still just need a couple more skill points. But I mean, with 1,700 skill points, you should have plenty anyway, so it shouldn't be a problem. Now, those are the questions from the last video. I'm going to answer some questions from other videos that I've made, because um, some of them are like quite interesting. Tony Tam Muti says, so I have a question for a tournament. Uh, this current tournament, I'm like 2,000 stages ahead. I'm probably going to win. I just received two new artifacts and all my artifact levels are pretty much doubled after last prestige. Is there any point in pushing? I've already, uh, if I already have one or should I save the potential for next tournament? Um, I would save it for next tournament uh, because if you're already gonna comfortably get first, then you can save that potential and those relics uh, for next time. But if you, I would still, for example, I wouldn't um, level any more in the artifacts, but I would still push at the end of that tournament so that I ain't, I'll end with higher relics to use to level more books of shadows and, and other things ready. So if you're already, if you're still pushing naturally, so that means um, basically not level up your artifacts. So I would, I would switch to level up your books of shadows but you can still push because of those two new artifacts you get. So even without leveling them, those two new artifacts um, should give you uh, a, well, basically natural progression, natural push. Then yeah, push as far as you can um, naturally. And then obviously end the tournament and level up your books of shadows and save the rest for uh, next tournament. Uh, so hopefully you can get first place again. Um, here's another question from our Albedo. Uh, Senpai says, I have a question. What is charged card? It's an artifact, but I don't know what it do. Um, so basically, like whenever whenever you are not sure about an, a card artifact, or an artifact, sorry, just click on it. So these um, artifacts here, if you look at the icon, if you click an icon, it will bring up full information. And all you need to do is, is 
read it and it should genuinely give you an idea of what it does. So for charge card, if you click on it, it says here, the gold per total card level bonus increases your all gold bonus once for each raid card level you own. So it says um, gold per total card level for each raid card level you own. So basically increases the gold for the card raid card levels you own. So raid card levels is if you go to your raid, I don't know why I'm going this way. This is the longest way. Let's go this way. So, so you go to raid cards and these are your raid cards and they're the raid card levels. So basically for all the totals that are added together and that's just the gold you get from those raid card levels. So that's what it is. So the higher your raid card levels, the more gold you get. Essentially, that's what it means. Um, so if you're ever stuck, you're not too sure, just click on the artifact icon and it should tell you. It pretty much should tell you. So I hope that helped. JC Sagan says, Hi Soros, I want to know if I followed your uh, skill board, would it still be um, applicable with the current patch 5.1? I'm having a hard time understanding the Compidium. Um, yeah, yeah. If, if most of the Road to Endgame series, I'm using a clan ship build from the Compidium website and it's slightly tweaked here and there. I might have changed a few skill points, um, but only slightly. Uh, you can still follow it. If you're watching the video um, from the whole, from the beginning, from zero stage zero, up until recently um, where I've, I've gone to my main account and then done the shadow clone or heaven strike build any build is still applicable uh, the recent update is due to uh, was for the relics so prestige relics and I think they added something else what did they add yeah, so the um, update was for the abyssal tournament cosmetics uh, the increase the stage cap they basically did some minor fixes and stuff and the biggest one was that they uh, basically sort out the, well, I say sort out, they changed the way that you um, bank relics before a tournament. So it's, it's all counted, all relics are counted before a tournament. And, and so before you used to be able to bank, now it doesn't matter, it's all counted for your potential. Uh, but there was no change to skills or skill tree or skill builds. So all the any recent update for the past I don't know, probably a few months that I'm aware of. There's been no change to skills. like So it wouldn't affect nothing on the recent updates would affect skill builds. So yeah, it's still absolutely fine to follow the um, skill builds. So to follow the clan ship build in my videos. Uh, if there was a big change to skill build trees, then I would mention it or do a separate video to say that this, these builds are no longer applicable, um, they're outdated, stuff like that. But generally, no massive change yet, so it's still absolutely fine. Um, so one for Zach Throck. Throck. Um, I'm sorry if I'm announcing it wrong, but he asks, uh, until how many SPs recommended to use in every build? Build a uh, great video and dedication. Uh, thanks, buddy. Uh, well, from right from the beginning, you can pretty much use clan ship. It says run about 20 SP, but you can still start putting skill points in that area anyway. Um, so use clan ship right from the beginning up until a thousand skill points, then a thousand skill points or above. You can start look, looking at heavy strike or or shadow claim build but then again um, even with sp you still need to have a uh, decent equipment uh, passive skills mana regen um, otherwise when you change it's going to be weaker than uh, the clan ship build or just stick with clan ship build it's totally up to you uh, but yeah straight from the beginning I, I think you get probably like five to ten skill points within the first hour or so anyway um, just yeah start putting it into clan ship build and then once you got over a thousand to do the uh, heavy strike or shadow clone. So that's, uh, I hope that's helped. Uh, thank you all for all these lovely questions. I really appreciate you uh, commenting and leaving your ideas and, and questions and everything. Uh, if you can't wait to um, for me to come back and do a Q&A video like this on all your questions, I do stream live on Twitch, YouTube every Wednesdays and Sundays at 8 p.m. GMT time. So you can pop in and we can do a live Q&A. Uh, I'll answer your questions right there and then. Or you can pop into my Discord and just ask me there. I'm always hanging out there. Apart from that, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you have a great day and I'll see you all next time. Take care. Bye.